Okay, so in the last video, I one of the videos that I did uh, was on uh, buying for the elderly and actually on how to go about uh, getting extra fabric and making the two in one. Now, when I bought this suit, I it was a 60 inch wide fabric and I requested the shopkeeper to give me extra. Now luckily for me the shopkeeper was known to me, the person who sells this was well known to me and uh, he gave me the extra. Although I had the guilty feeling and later on I went back and I said right you know the fabric that you had left over from this just give me that as well because I know uh, for the shopkeeper to give me two and a half and then to keep one and a half he may have had problems trying to sell that one and a half so what I did was I purchased that as well and I'll be making uh, two versions of the same outfit uh, one in a large size obviously for mom and then a slightly smaller size for um, a customer so that's one way of um, compromising now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding I've cut this in a very s straightforward basic cut mom is a quite a large lady and uh, obviously we want to make them slightly uh, loose fitting as well because she has a problem now of um, trying to uh, put on and take off the garments uh, and if they're tight she's restricted so the care of this outfit is uh, quite wide to be precise this is uh, 16 inches and then on the shoulders is 8 inches on the chest area is uh, 15 inches I've just slightly an inch I've taken it off uh, the length of the kameez is about 44 inches. I'm going to be making this slightly longer by adding an extension and on the front side I'm going to be adding lace as well. That will do two things. Uh, one, it will add weight to it and two, it will give it, obviously it will give it a nicer look. Now I've got a beautiful self-matching lace that I will be using with this. So there is there is two parts to this video. First of all, we're go going to do the cutting. This is uh, the extension on the diamond. I've taken the excess away. So this is for the front and back. And uh, that's just a straightforward cut. We're going to add the extension to the bottom of the diamond to both the front and the back and then we're going to be uh, lacing the front off with adding lace to the front of this. Now the lace is a very good colour matching lace and uh, What I want to do is add a little bit of this to, to the neckline. We'll be adding a little bit of this uh, trim to the front of the sleeves as well just to break it up and just to give the similar colour. Now um, and also to the outsides of uh, this I'm also going to be adding just a little bit of um, uh, this these edges tend to fray so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of like trap the lace inside of this and uh, 
that will give it the similar color okay. so we're going to turn on our iron and just a couple of things before we let's just cut a neckline Just a standard round neckline. Now, if the neckline for any reason seems just a little bit wide, uh, what you can do is just pinch this. When you iron this onto the uh, interface, it, uh, when you iron this onto the spare fabric, you can slightly just pinch it so that it just lessens the width a little bit so that it's comfortable. The other thing we're going to do is when we've got the iron on, we're going to uh, press this so that um, it's prepared and then uh, then all we have to do now one of the things that is a thing to bear in mind with these fabrics is that they have these punched out holes and they can look quite ugly on uh, certain fabrics um, so clothing so what we're going to do is take that off also we're going to shape a little bit of the bottom of this just to give it the pointed look. 